like it. Love it. Like, I always try to eat the bones. And I think I went for like a coffee shop and the coffee wasn't very fresh and my stomach was, you know, kind of upset about that. I like this one the most. Like, it's, it's better than the one in San Francisco. I like, it tastes good, it really does. Well, I think the price is not bad. Taste is so good. What did you eat in this airport? So I had these beef noodles and it came with a side of mushroom and this lemon tea and I put the mushroom in there and I put hot sauce. It's delicious. I don't remember what they called it. Looks like beef noodles and uh, vegetables. I have beef. I have noodles. Oh. Beef noodles. Cappuccino. Custard cream pie. Milk tea with boba and then this is the combo custard cream and peanut custard cream. I think I ordered a soup with dumplings on it. Steamed pork buns and then Taiwanese beef noodle soup. I ate uh, North American food, McDonald's. It's a spicy chicken BLT and fries. I think that's number three, I think. Yeah, like two fried chicken, original fried chicken flavor, and those potato thick and soda. Why did I choose this? Yeah, my brother really liked it and he thought I bought it in the Philippines. So I said it's from here in Taipei. So he said that once I go back again, if I can buy more, it's really good. Last time on that Tuesday to the Philippines, I was here only like 72 hours, I could fly back right away. I passed through this one, I was looking at the menu, I said, I should try it the next time I'll, I'll stop by. I think it's the picture that they have on their menu, so it looks very attractive. We're going to drink a lot today, so I need something that'll fill my stomach with greasy food. I was only going to get bottled water because I didn't have any Taiwan money, so I saw they were, they had water, so I decided to stop and order it. I knew they would take a credit card or U.S. dollars, and then she recommended the food, so I said, okay. I went to every single restaurant. Mm -hmm. I don't eat pork. I don't like turkey because it's too dry. I looked at the chicken, it looked boiled. I don't like boiled chicken. Chicken. So beef was kind of my only option, but it was a good choice. And how was it? And can you describe the taste? I like it. I love it. Like, I always try to eat the bones. So it's good. We have got some kind of like that in the Philippines. Very famous Jollibee. I think they also have the bread one. The bread one, yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's the first time I, I, I had it. It's not the best cappuccino I've ever had, but it's definitely a good cappuccino. It smells really good and it's really creamy. You want to try it? I'll, yeah, I'll give it a try. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was very yummy. <laughs> it's like a little pancake. I like the uh, just the steamed buns. They're just really uh, soft and savory. It's delicious, it's amazing, I like it a lot. Did you add the spice there and the flavor for you? No, the flavor is good, the spice is the feeling. When you have spicy food, your mouth kind of burns afterwards. I like that feeling. Did you ever eat something that is bad for you in the airport? Not at this airport. At other airports, uh, not, not at this one. No. I want to say I was in China once and I ate something. It must have been Putian or someplace like that. And I think I went for like a coffee shop and the coffee wasn't very fresh. So my stomach was you know, kind of upset about that. Phoenix Airport. I had a hamburger that was just awful. So that was $24, which is about $700, I think, $750. The meat was like frozen meat. And I ordered the Southwest. So I thought it was gonna come with like some sort of sauce or oloi. No, it just came with lettuce and tomato. Like back in America, maybe some of the airports they have food that is just for convenience. You go to a store and you buy a small sandwich that's been sitting there for 
maybe two days already. 就是美国啊，哦，有有一种饺子，就可能八方云集的，可能只要八十块，可是它可能要卖五百块，然后外面馅超少，然后美国卖珍珠奶茶，应该是冰块奶茶。就全部都是冰块，然后下面有两三颗珍珠这样，然后你吸到最后就剩一堆冰块跟两个珍珠，你还吸不到。All the airport that you have been to, can you give the ranking? I like this one the most. Like it's it's better than the one in San Francisco. I like it tastes good. It really does. Yeah. I would say Philippines would be the first. I'll be biased about it, but yeah, I think number two. Well, I think the price is not bad. Taste is so good. Uh, I see in countries from where we've been, well, I think will be around seven. I mean, Taiwan does have some really good food, like ranking with other airports. Asian countries have great food. North American countries, so so. It really depends on where you are. It's hard to say, right? Because every country and every airport is different. I think Taipei Airport is very nice. It's already like the best airport to be in because there's a lot of nourishing food. Um, that that really. And do you want here to have some different kinds of food? Yes, probably the the, the dim sum. The dim sum is really good. It's 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 really good. So having good breakfast restaurants is always important in my mind. 就是台湾的小吃，其实在华人当中挺有名气的。我希望能再多呃搞一些民间的传统的食物过来。You know, really good Taiwanese hot pot could be interesting because I know that's a popular thing here and people really like it and it's good, right? But it's also you know you need like a lot of time to sit down and eat and you know. But that could be interesting, right? If you have time, like long layover. I think a little bit. Of variety, so we can find a lot of uh, local traditional food. But for example, there is no pizza. Uh, for the typical junk food, there is only McDonald's. But all the food looks to be the same. They're all noodles. Like it would be cool if there was like a pizza or a hamburger, or something like that. That was different. Maybe rice. For Filipino, Filipino loves rice. If they can have chicken and rice menu, some Filipinos would like rice.